Bear was set up with the goal to provide an environment for people to, to do research that was you know, flexible and you know, non-bureaucratic. Over the years, we've grown from you know, one to now 125. Other people have found it useful and that the goal is to keep you know, in providing that environment for them and help them with their research. While I was doing my PhD at Boston University, I was working with a number of groups who were uh, deeply involved in NASA's Earth Observing Systems uh, science mission development. And that kind of paved the way for me to come into NASA Ames, which was doing pioneering work in processing large amounts of satellite data and the high performance computing division using the Pleiades supercomputer. And that was my natural inclination to come here. NEX is NASA Earth Exchange. We created this platform almost five years back to enable researchers and scientists to come and use the NASA supercomputing platform where we actually store all the satellite data sets and give access to computing at scale. And NASA has a lot of satellites up in orbit and they're streaming in real-time data, which are really large. The whole motive was for NEX was to store all this data in one centralized location and then give access to the compute next to it. So researchers spend 80% of their time downloading and pre-processing data, while well, spend 20% of their time in doing real science. Now, NEX wanted to reverse this, and the main challenge for us was to create these unified workflows where researchers can come in and use these workflows to replicate what has been already done. So the value add that NASA Earth Exchange brings to the table is with processing all these data sets and creating these high-level insights, this, is, this can be of direct value to the first responders. And blending the geostationary satellites and the polar satellites, now you have a way to merge these platforms together and give you almost real-time information that can be harnessed by different vendors for actually responding to fire events, to forest fires, to hurricane tracking, you name it. The NASA Student Airborne Research Program, or SARP, is a summer internship program for undergraduate juniors who are majoring in any of the science, technology, engineering, or math disciplines. They get to come out to California and fly on board one of our NASA research aircraft and do Earth System Science research. These students are studying um, chemistry, biology, math, computer science, and they come out to California and they get to fly on board one of our NASA research aircraft, which is such a unique experience for an undergrad. They get to do a project from end to end, from collecting the data in the field and on board the aircraft, to analyzing and interpreting that data in the lab and um, back on their computers, and then um, presenting their results and conclusions um, in front of an audience of um, their peers as well as um, fellow NASA scientists and um, from across the country. And the really great thing about SARP is that we um, allow students to be able to see that they can take the background that they have now and apply that to the study of the Earth system. We have some students who come in, say, as a physics major, and they think that they're going to do astrophysics, which is great. Um, but after they do our program, they realize that this physics background that they have, they can use that to study the Earth system. They can become an expert in remote sensing. And so we'll have students that um, come into our program thinking that they're going to go on one track and then completely change their mind and end up applying to graduate schools um, in fields relevant to the Earth system. We're grateful for the support this program has received from across NASA. Many different NASA scientists and administrators have come out to California to inspire our students. Our students have gotten to fly on the NASA DC-8, the P-3, the Sherpa, the B-200, and have used data from the ER-2. So I'm a field scientist, and um, I came to NASA because I was really interested in planetary science and the merger with that and human spaceflight. Um, and so I really wanted to integrate the worlds of science and human exploration together, and there's no better place to do that than here. And Bayer was a wonderful opportunity in terms of a portal or an enabling factor to actually make this research come to fruition. The SALT stands for Biologic Analog Science Associated with Lava Terrains. And this project is focused on the integration of real geological and biological science with the human spaceflight community. And so we've been going out into the field in Idaho and Hawaii to conduct field research that's focused on habitability studies in these volcanic terrains, in basalt-rich terrains, which are great analogs or point of comparisons um, for Mars. 
and then we use that environment to learn, to understand what it's going to take to actually conduct extravehicular activities or EVAs on places like Mars when you have humans separated from the Earth, not only um, through space but also through time. What we're trying to do with all of the projects that I'm involved with is really bridge the gap between exploration and science and make sure that the conversation around the capabilities, the operational concepts that are developed for future human spaceflight, for example, to Mars, are infused, that conversation is infused right now with science because eventually we want the humans that are on the surface of Mars to conduct science and exploration and we have to build and design for that now. As a researcher, there's so much coming at you. And as well, I'm a field researcher, so I constantly go into what are called extreme environments. And I need to know that at home, you know, basically there's an engine at work to ensure that I'm protected, that I'm supported in every which way when it comes to just being able to have a life and to be a field scientist and a scientist in general. And Bayer really offers me that, that, that capability and that support mechanism.